Mike Moore Media, the first place to hear Rockingham County news and information. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Cone Health and today's Annie Penn Hospital. So advanced is so close to home. ConeHealth.com. Seven local and state candidates have sent a letter to the State Board of Elections requesting them to, quoting directly, take over operations of the Rockingham County Board of Elections immediately to provide oversight and ensure that competent, experienced, and qualified people will manage the office and upcoming election. This is critical in order to provide for a fair and trusted election. We have lost faith in the current board to do so. The letter goes on to explain the retirement of the board's director in March. A replacement has not been hired, and the senior deputy director was fired last week. Their statement says it's unclear if the board had the legal authority to do that. There is only one staff member left who was hired in June. Again, quoting, recent decisions made by the board have left Rockingham County inexperienced and unprepared to deliver election results that can be trusted. It's signed by these candidates, Wally White, NC Senate, Amanda Bell, NC House, Kelly Jones, Rockingham County Register of Deeds, Ann Brady and Jeff Johnson, Rockingham County Board of Commissioners, Ophelia Wright, Rockingham County Board of Education, all Democratic candidates, and Michael Jordan, Rockingham County Board of Education, Libertarian candidate. Stoneville Town Council met last night for almost three hours and tackled several big problems. First, salary inequities. A study by Piedmont Triad Regional Council recommends a pay plan based on classification and compensation, full and part-time positions, pay grades, performance expectations, and other criteria. The study revealed current and projected salaries of the town's employees and suggested a seven-year plan to get things in balance. Next, plans for the new public works building. And that's the problem. No plans for a project that should already be under construction. Councilman Johnny Farmer said he has a big trust issue and hasn't been told the truth. He's perturbed and commented to staff, if you don't know what you're doing, tell us, we'll get you help. We can't do anything without a set of plans. The issue was tabled to get additional information either in a called meeting or at the regular meeting in November. Town manager Lori Armstrong was initially allocated $100,000 for the project. She suggested either hire a general contractor or start over. There was also discussion on who pays for replacing driveway pipe, the town or residents. Lots of variables, the cost of materials, asphalt, concrete, gravel, and right-of-way issues. Until recently, when a resident put in new pipe, They bought it, and the town crews installed it. Further discussion next month. Transparency and accountability, the key words in dealing with a new purchasing policy. Council will now be informed about any purchase over $3,000, and in the future, see invoices, checks, credit card, and bank statements to avoid any possible problems. The goal, to be more financially responsible to citizens. Additional safety precautions are being put in place at Stoneville Town Hall. No backpacks and no pocketbooks will be allowed in the council meeting room. Signs will be erected. A new beautification group has been formed. Its mission to respect the town and reduce trash and litter downtown. COVID exposure to the fourth grade class at Wentworth Elementary School. Students will be on virtual learning for two weeks beginning today and return to their classrooms October 22nd. In music news, Eddie Van Halen has died from cancer. He was 65. Van Halen is widely regarded as one of rock's greatest innovators, a guitarist whose sonic creativity redefined the instrument's capabilities. The band, which took his family's surname, released its debut album in 1978, and Van Halen quickly became one of the quintessential figures in the history of hard rock. 
Many radio stations nationwide are playing his music nonstop. Lane's Family Pharmacy delivers customer service. Lane's Family Pharmacy on NC14 in Eden. If you're a Lane's customer, you're part of the family. They go that extra mile in customer service. Lane's is built on delivery. They've been delivering prescriptions to Rockingham County residents for over 20 years. And they can prepackage your daily prescriptions to make it really easy to know what to take and when to take it. That's a great customer service right there. Call Lane's at 336 337-4600 for personal service from people who care and appreciate your business. Again, the number for delivery countywide, 336-627-4600 at Lane's Family Pharmacy in Eden. Time to get your flu shot now. Rockingham County weather, sunny. High today, 81. Tomorrow, 79. Friday, mostly sunny. High 71, increasing clouds later in the day. Rain this weekend, Saturday 50% chance, Sunday 80%, high in the low 70s, low 60. Get current weather information anytime at mikemore.media, along with Rocking Cam, our live stream weather camera, sponsored by Heat and Air Controllers, for year-round comfort, whatever the weather. Jeff from Heat and Air was at our house yesterday for routine maintenance. Everything checked out okay. That's something you may want to do. Be sure your heating system is ready for winter. Call Heat and Air Controllers. Need a tow? Dave's Towing is a call away. 24 hours a day at this number, 336-932-7478. Earlier, I mentioned Eddie Van Halen. The music world has also lost Johnny Nash. He died Tuesday at 80. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Gone are the dark clouds that had me blind. It's gonna be a bright. Gonna be a bright, bright, sunshiny day. I think I can make it now. The pain is gone. All of the bad feelings have disappeared. Here is that rainbow I've been praying for. Gonna be a bright, 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 sunshiny day. Number one hit for Johnny Nash in October 1972, a gold record selling over one million copies. I want to mention Ferguson Stump Grinding. Ben and Cody Ferguson have done some work for us a couple of times in the past. I am well pleased and glad to recommend Ferguson Stump Grinding to you. 
You'll find them on Facebook. Now, today's Consumer Report. The show's over, at least for a while. Regal Cinemas will temporarily close all 536 of its theaters in the U.S. on October 8th due to limited consumer demand and a challenging theatrical landscape. Regal, like other theaters, is having trouble finding new movies since most new releases are on hold. Norwegian Cruise Lines has canceled all cruises until December 1st. Travelers currently booked on canceled voyages of any of these lines are asked to contact their travel advisor or the cruise line for more information. Despite the coronavirus pandemic and its severe economic fallout, consumers are continuing to pay more for new cars and trucks. Kelly Blue Book reports the average transaction price for a new vehicle last month was $38,723. That's up 2.5% over September 2019. I'm Mark Huffman. Learn more at ConsumerAffairs.com. Now the community calendar, sponsored by Night Owl National Stoneworks in Eden. Granite, quartz, and marble for commercial and residential. Ask about the Mike Moore Media discount on Facebook at Night Owl National Stoneworks. Another Eden Chamber of Commerce ribbon cutting today at Divine Nutrition on Kings Highway at 11. Another Reedsville Police Department mask giveaway today at Woodland Heights Apartments, 4.30 to 6.30, free popcorn and ice pops for kids. Free drive through mobile food market, fresh produce, meat, bread, and staple items will be given to qualified families based on income, serving Madison and Mid End residents only who are not currently served by Lot 2540, Friday 3 to 5 at 401 West Decatur Street in Madison. Music Night at the Spencer Penn Center, Friday. Doors open at 5, music at 5.30 with Rebound Road. Cookies, chips, and drinks available for purchase. Suggested admission donation, $5. Prayer walk to honor and remember George Gill, former city employee on the track and grounds of Draper Recreation Center, Mill Avenue, Eden, Saturday, 4 to 6. Live bluegrass music at the Sandy Ridge Community Center, NC 704, Saturday at 6, featuring Steve Marshall and High Road. Concessions available. Today we're celebrating National Chocolate-Covered Pretzel Day. Oh, I love those. Today in history, October 7th, 1765, nine American colonies, 28 delegates, adopted the Declaration of Rights and Grievances. 1930, President Herbert Hoover visited North Carolina for the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Kings Mountain, a turning point in the Revolutionary War. In the Tri-Cities, on this day, Leakesville Spray and Draper, 1943, Belt Klein opened a third store. That was on the boulevard. And in 1968, the Motion Picture Association adopted a film rating system ranging from G to X. Lots of big-name birthdays today. Simon Cowell, 61. Tony Braxton, 53. Yo-Yo Ma, 65, John Mellencamp, 69, Andy Bean, 36, Michael W. Smith, 63, Joy Behar, 78, Bishop Desmond Tutu, 89, Alice Walton, 79, and Taylor Hicks, 44. Rockingham County Today is sponsored by Cone Health. We're with you. ConeHealth.com And by Good Smiles. All About Floors, Carolina Fuels, Vernon Family Dairy, Night Owl National Stoneworks, Fair Funeral Home, Rise Up Reedsville, Shop Rockingham County, and Shop Stokes County. Let me finish with our motivational moment. Never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days give experience. Worst days give lessons. And best days give Give memories. Thanks for tuning in. Make it a wonderful Wednesday, friends. And remember to count your blessings.